All right, guys, moment of truth. Let's see what we're weighing in at now. It's all finished. So we are heat treated, sharpened, polished pole. Uh, let's see. Find out the same time as me. Wow. So that's, yeah, I'm happy with that. 3.8, 3 pounds. 8.9 ounce, so three point nearly 3.9, so we're shy for four pound, but not by much. Considering what I was originally aiming for was uh, this size of axe, this is only... So we're, we're heavier than that, which is deceptive when you look at it. But again, this is designed for splitting, not cutting. But again, I like that profile, the jersey. So that is almost a pound heavier than that. You can't tell there, but then when you you flip it up, look how thin this profile is. So I mean about them getting stuck. So you know it's a nice axe, but this is this is predominantly made for splitting so like a big pole on the back lots of weight on the back to drive it forward see that profile see what I mean so we have that cutting profile to start with and then obviously the wedge this isn't ever going to get stuck in wood but it's not like a mole I'm super happy with that All right let's go in the garage get it on a handle guys we're back in the garage uh, that noise is the heater like we've got a gas on uh, gas forward blower because it's uh, freezing it's freezing in the UK at the moment uh, especially in Cheshire um, so I'm going to be fitting the axe handle and then obviously other bits I need to do, which like these are those knives I was working on. Little chef, well, I say little chef knives, Some nice big ones. Well, same as well. Harrison, you can see. Uh, so that'll be nice to do. I'll get them done hopefully before Christmas. This is what we're here for. The beast. <laughs> um, I'm going to have a quick tidy up because the garage is a dump at the moment get some tools put away, get everything organised and then I will get set up on the wood vice or maybe on this vice I've got soft jaws for it now so fit and handle we'll start working that way through that I'm super excited right and I'm gonna tidy up guys so I'll be back in a minute okay guys let's get on with it right see there yeah I'm filming all right, let's not repeat past mistakes. Let's get a bit of tape on this. I fancy cutting my fingers again like I did last time. There uh, it is. I also don't want to cover the your polished edge in sticky tape glue, so let's wrap that around that first. Okay, got to keep all my fingers now as well. That's taped up. Right, sip for my drink. A new sharp pencil. I was hoping to get the starter off on my little uh, Suzuki today, but I just didn't get tense. It's too busy. So. I'll probably do a separate video for that because I was looking on YouTube last night and I couldn't seem to find any. Um, not that it's difficult, you know what I mean, but it's just handy for other people, I guess. If you, you're doing it, why don't you do it for everyone else to see? Like I said, I was looking and I couldn't find any. Right, so what we do is we're starting off. Let me flip that light on. Uh, it's alright, a bit too dark, or we. But it's either too dark or too light. Yeah. 
a massive amount to remove. The cut on this is awful. That's this is how it come from the factory. Look at that. <laughs> Bloody cross-eyed person's done that. Well. If you haven't got one of these, get one, they're fantastic. A, a pick up pen. I'm gonna buy some more, they're brilliant. They're pretty expensive, like six pounds or something, but you now when you need So that's what we're aiming for. We'll uh whip out the draw knife. Guys, let's get this fixed down. This is going to be quite drawn out, guys. So I will stop the video. I mean, yeah, so I can. I'll just fast forward it, I guess. Too big. Narrow itself out a bit. Okay, we're getting close now. Take your light back on so you blind everyone. Did you see there? We're just like uh, 12 mil shy, so all I'll do is keep knocking it off now. Uh, tap it out. Obviously, knock it in. See where it's rubbing, take it back out again, shave that off with the, 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 draw, the draw knife. So a little bar goes in here. There we go. And then, see like the darker patches, the hard to see. Hard to see there, but you can just about vaguely really slick three there. One, two, three. We do shave them off. That's just obviously where it's picking up inside the, uh, the eye of the axe. So you remove that and it makes it a nice snug fit. Okay, so we've got it a nice fit now. So all I'm gonna do is use my uh, carving knife. I forged with uh, Nick Westerman that time. I'm just gonna clean this up now and just dress it with this knife, get it all nice and clean. Uh, I'll go around it with a sander, clean up the end, obviously where we've been knocking it. <clears throat> get them cleaned on. The axe on, fit the wedge, and then I'll uh, give it a good oiling. So, let's quickly shave this now. Okay. Dig out the sander. Hi right, guys, I've just uh, cut a wedge. Well, already had a cut wedge, but I've just ground it down, made it nice and skinny. There's not a lot of room in there. So, what I'm going to do is just um, file a little. That should work, right? up a little bit to get too smooth. I like a key for it to bind to. Ta-da! I need a tiny amount, let me go crazy. Just 
Let's use a, a lug. So we sort of skinny in the front. Yeah, I see that. Ah, I hate stuff like this, it makes me feel a bit nauseous. I'm going to cut that off now. One second. In the future, I'll stick to using softwood for the wedges. Or at least a softer hardwood. I'm not sure what this stuff is, but it's really, really tough. I mean, even my belts don't like it on my grinder. But, we're wedged. Can I eat this up now with my knife? Guys, I'm all over the place. <laughs> it's a bit excited. Well, I think I might leave the video there and uh, I'll show you tomorrow. I'll get it oiled up. Right, see you later, guys. Okay, guys, so it's tafted now. Um, just giving it a quick oiling. Give it a better one. It isn't going to stay on this handle. I'm just going to abuse it now and just use it. Um, this handle's too big, really, for this axe. I f it feels like, anyway. Also, you can see there's a knot there, which is not ideal, obviously, for an axe handle. Uh, so, it will not be staying on this. This is just so I can put it to use and see what it's like. Also, because I've been uh, excited to do this a lot, obviously, you get excited, you rush things, you kind of get carried away, or paid attention too much. And the axe is ever so slightly, you can tell there quite badly actually. It's on the piss. It doesn't really look at too much from the back, but it is definitely noticeable. Um, that's my bad. Obviously I used a hard wedge. I could use a softer wedge, a soft wood really for, for wedging it. Come on, focus your bugger. You can see that geometry there, the profile. Uh, the only downside now, because it's obviously, oh God, looks bloody awful. See there, guys? Got lots of knotty wood, nasty wood, um, turn into firewood. It's a good weight. Definitely feels like a, a ball on a chain kind of job. Uh, so, we shall see how it fares. And then I need to make a sheath for it as well. They'd want to stamp it back. The only trouble, the stamp that I've got so big, it dis it sort of deforms them even when they've got their eye in them. The, the, you know, the drift, sorry, in the eye. So, well, this should be pretty exciting. All right, guys, I'm going to go retire now and go to the house. Okay, guys, just at my sister's house. Um, axe is handled up, and I've got, obviously, some of these logs up from the forge. These knotty ones that we're showing you, with all the limbs and everything on them. It's always a nightmare to split. So I'm just going to get some quick footage now showing you the axe in, work, you know, in use. Not happy with this handle, the handle's too big really. But um, like you said, it's got the, got the knot there which isn't ideal. And I've realised why it's wonky. Obviously when the kerf was cut on this, it was factory cut. It's like one third over. So, so as I've driven the wedge in, it's obviously offset the head because it was nice when I first bit it. So I'll quickly get you set up and I'll get some footage of this now. You can see that, right, yeah? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Took a bit of a tumble, did you? Okay. Hopefully that's kind of in footage. That's awesome. Look at that. I think I 
just at once. Okay, let's go for the biggie. He's definitely on to something, isn't he, guys? Some naughty wood. Drop, straight out. That's really naughty. Look at this guy's. More limbs than buddy. What? That comes out. Wow. Last one. <laughs> they don't put much of a fight, do they? Washing line down here. Yeah, I was just. Yeah, I have it. What a beauty. That's worked an absolute treat. Get away with doing that one slash one, I think. I'll never get tired of that. <laughs> Bucking, you're definitely onto something. That's a, a game changer. Thirty-six inch handle. That's awesome, guys. So that split a matter of seconds. Right, let's get back to work.